You know, um, you were key in um, getting downtown Chelsea on the National Registry of Historic Places. How do they maintain that um, and keep that, uh, that vision intact? I mean, can you change buildings at all or? Well, the National Register of Historic Places is a honorific, uh, and it doesn't put any uh, legal restrictions on the owner. You can do anything to your building. Uh, you can even tear it down. But uh, it's hoped that you don't. It, uh, they, they find that when a, a community is so honored as being on the National Register of Historic Places, it fosters some civic pride and people are more likely to keep it the way it is. It also opens uh, uh, up some avenues for funding and grants and this and that and the other. And it also brings tourism. George mentioned earlier that heritage tourism is the most rapidly growing branch of tourism. People go places that are on that register and, and, and look at them. And while they're there, they, they buy some food and some souvenirs and well, some sure. gasoline and maybe sure. stay overnight and, and, and so on. If you, uh, the requirements for a, a town, the, the rough guideline, the rule of thumb is 80% of the buildings ought to be contributing means that they, their exterior still essentially maintains its historic character. Uh, we have 93%, I believe, is uh, contributing buildings here. Out of the uh, 65 buildings in this uh, register district, only five uh, had been remodeled so that they're not considered contributing. And uh, all of the rest of them are in essentially their original appearance. <laughs> So uh, it'll remain that way. The, the, you know, the, the civic pride will, 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 will make sure that uh, it's, it's preserved. And that's one of the reasons that I really like living here because with the Holmes house being renovated, with the other home down by my house being renovated by Greg Ray, uh, it was fallen into a real state of disrepair. And civic pride is, is really what keeps our community going. I used to have a, th a theory that if you fix up one building on a derelict block, it'll save the whole block. <clears throat> one day I said, Jackie, come out here. I went out to the front porch. We were uh, deeply involved in, in re rehabilitating this house. How many houses do you count? There were four people on this block that were out working on restoring their porches or replacing uh, their, their siding with uh, the, the original type siding. There were four of us besides us that were working on their houses. <laughs> I says, I don't know whether we started all this, but uh, it is contagious. I've been involved in preservation for quite a few years before I came here. Uh, uh, I came here because of a job transfer and we looked at uh, uh, various communities. Uh, this one looked like it had taken care of itself over the years and it was in the middle of a streetscape project which said they are uh, really they care about their their appearance and so on so we were uh, attracted to the town we told the realtor we'd like to look at some old houses the first house she showed us was 17 years old we said no that's not what we had in mind but uh, I'd had some experience uh, most just prior to coming here in, in Kentucky. The Bluegrass Trust for Historic Preservation down there has been in business for uh, two-thirds of a century. And uh, they do a lot of heavy-duty things. And I got involved in some major, major uh, preservation projects of international significance down there. And we saw Chelsea, and I said, this is a historic district just, just waiting to happen. So my first attempt was to get it on what is called a local historic district. That puts uh, restrictions on what property owners can do and it, it legally protects it uh, in perpetuity. Uh, I found that the property owners did not want that. So, uh, okay, plan B. Let's put it on the National Register of Historic Places anyway because that does not uh, put any restrictions on your property. You get many of the benefits of, of having a protected district. You're not protected against the guy next door tearing down his building and putting up a stainless steel building, but uh, you've, you've got uh, openings for, for grants and preservation and, and, uh, and publicity and this and that and the other. So this is ideal. I then had to sell uh, all of the property owners on that idea 
and they remembered that uh, my first uh, initiative here was to put a protective uh, local historic district here, and I think there might have been a little bit of mistrust. I had to persuade them that I did not have a hidden agenda and that this was not a stepping stone mm -hmm. to a restrictive district. Uh, and uh, one by one, uh, we didn't attempt to do it this time in a, in a big public forum. Uh, just one by one, I visited and persuaded each, uh, each owner. And I think I said all owners. You don't have to have all owners. We got nearly all owners. Mm -hmm. If there are one or two or three who say, no, I don't agree, and everybody else does, you can get it done anyway. Mm -hmm. So when all that was done, you then have to uh, prepare a nomination form. This one ran to uh, some 65 pages, not counting the 101 photographs mm -hmm. that were appended according to the guidelines that the National Park Service puts out for nominating this. But you have to research all the buildings. Uh, document them with photographs, uh, include in this, this write-up uh, details of their architecture and their history, their business history, and then the, the overall history of the town, where it fits in context with the state and so on, and uh, go through this whole thing and submit it to the State Historic Preservation Office. And it took about a year to get it through there. They said, yes, uh, Chelsea is a historic uh, registered district just waiting to happen. But we need to work on this nomination and we need to, you know, improve it and so on. So we worked on it. In total, from the time I started until we finally got approval of, by the National Park Service that it was listed, took 12 years. And so... <laughs>